driving the fucking Batmobile. <laughs> Big Crit is, you need to learn. I had this dream once, maybe I was a little drunk, maybe I took too much melatonin and I fucked my whole head up. How many of y'all take melatonin because you can't sleep at night, but then it makes you trip like you fucking took acid in the middle of your night? Yep, I understand exactly what it's like, a little hallucination. It's like taking mushrooms in your dream precise. I love that melatonin free dose and to get it quick. I got those fucking dreams that just don't make any goddamn sense. And there I am, back at the age of 13, walking around in Jack's Beach, just my little fucking teen. Ass spitting raps over mob deep beats while I'm walking my fucking dog on the goddamn beach. See, I was too shy to talk to anybody in my life and all of a sudden this hallucinations bring it back right see now i'm an egomaniacal asshole all night standing up on stage sweating yelling in the mic but back then too shy no friends just trying to get by i guess watching gargoyles on my parents tv set and when my dad would go to bed i'd switch over to cinemax on some swiggle vision tits just trying to make the best of what i get it's the old teenage kid i ain't scared to admit i got caught a couple times with my hand on my dick we're all adults now fucking a my dad's like you watch that shit, it's okay, you had it, we all been there and done that, in fact I never gave a care about Jean-Luc Picard captain, all I really cared about was this and rapping, and every once in a while I paid the Star Wars traction, yup, that was it, I waited on fucking line, we talked that shit about I was a nerd way back in design, and fuck that, once a nerd, you were a nerd to the day that you die, give me a D20, I'll let that bitch fly. Truth and honest to God, I'm walking through these same streets, dude, and I am memorizing every single goddamn move that I did when I was 15, 13, making moves. And understand, I'm feeling it in my chest. I asked this girl out on a date, and I remember she straight dissed the girl, king of the cheerleaders, captain of that shit, and who am I? Little skid care, fucking too scared to spit. I didn't tell nobody I was spitting raps. I didn't want anybody to know because I was paid and embarrassed at that. Cause see, back then, a white rapper was different shit. You would be the only white rapper at a concert, kid. And there, now look how it's fucking changed. A bunch of white faces and not any other shades. The whole game, they'll change and flip on its head because back then I would rap with guys that'd rather see me dead. I ain't no thug, I ain't no gangster at all. I'm just a Jacksonville boy who loves to freestyle, dog. And I was sitting there fucking my goddamn dog all damn night. That swing the note changes all quick, so. Out the fog, out the smoke, comes a black car, cruising extra fast, and I see the fucking headlights on. Comes and screeches to a stop, and holy shit, it's the Batmobile. My heart drops. See, I'm a nerd, we already covered that. I wasn't comic books and shit, but I could recognize a fucking whip as ill as that. And so when it pulls up and parks on the spot, I'm like, oh shit, Bruce Wayne coming out that bitch. But it was something different, in fact, the perfect collision of every world I've been living in way back. See, I grew up watching fucking old shit, the 80s movies, you understand what I'm on, kid? I'm talking Groundhog Day and all the rest, babe, and all of a sudden I found that bat wing, lift that man, that Bill Murray, that guy that you want to grow up to be right, standing there in the fucking Batman costume, fuck that right. I got a true story of Bill M. This is honest to God, crossed my heart, the true thing. Back in fucking goddamn 19 something something, my friend had to drive him all around, want to beat her brother, and Bill Murray and his brothers. My brother ran up in the car, and these guys were fucking yelling, cheering in his ears. And Bill Murray was like, hold on one second, let me give me the keys and a rental for Fiesta. He fucking took it to 103. Honest to God, that's truth to the death. And that guy just appeared inside of the brains inside my head. Maybe I took some acid, maybe I tripped, or maybe I took too much whiskey, or maybe melatonin got me flipped. But all I know, Bill Murray looked me in the eyes, and he was like, it's okay, tell him about the fucking rhymes, it's alright, be yourself, you'll be the fucking day for the day you die, and I was like, okay, after that, I was never shy. So a lot of people look at me like, like, how the fuck did you get up on stage here tonight? Back in kindergarten, they wanted to hold me back again because I was socially underdeveloped with no friends, but look at me now, clear my arm with my hands, up inside the sky with a bunch of people paying attention, and all of a sudden you ask, how did he get to this place? Oh shit. It was Bill Murray in a Batman costume, babe. Took me for a spin, I guess, holding up inside that whip, just doing donuts, all that shit. He was like, hey, you
You wanna take it for a drive, but I'm like Bill Murray, I'm only 13, I'm not allowed to fuck that ride. Bill Murray gives a beer out of his side, he goes, take a sip, take the whip, and let's just take it for a spin tonight. So I learned to drive with Bill Murray by my side, pushing Batman, fucking whip, smoke screen for size. And when the cops tried to come up on our end, he was like, hold on, hit the extra boosters, then we dipped across his friend. And I woke up on my bed with nothing else around me. My sheets all knotted and shit. And I looked around and I was so astounded what had happened. All of a sudden I reached my fingertips and cut him half. And I was like, oh shit, how the fuck did I cut my hands like this? And I reached down and it was a fucking batter rang up in my bed. That's a true story. This is our last song.